Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, warshippers of all ages, welcome to game one of the international finals. This is a best of five featuring two teams that have fought long and hard to get here. That is Penta and Shaft. Shaft spawning here in the green on the northern side of, Sh of Sleeping Giant as we, as we head into game one. Bringing Montana, Kremlin, Double Des Moines, Moskva, Petra Pavlovsk, and then fronting things with a Gearing Harugamo and a Ragnar. Panzor, what do you got on the south spawn? Penta are indeed going to be running this one battleship composition once again. This time it's Ohio, Des Moines, Des Moines, Moskva, Petra Pavlovsk, Gearing, Marso, Marso, Harugumo. Four destroyers, four cruisers, one battleship. Now, we joked originally in the, international, in, in the EU finals that um, this is like Penta saying, we'll beat you with one hand behind our back. But it seems like what this is actually more about is we need cruisers. We need, okay, what can we get? What, we, need, we need more destroyers. What can we give up? We can't give up that. We can't give up this cruiser. We need this cruiser for this spot. We need this cruiser for this spot. What does that leave us? I suppose we can give up the battleship and replace it with that. I, I think having watched that earlier game was the first time I'd seen them run this strat, mm. right? And I think as I look at it, it's a bit of an acknowledgement of a quirk of Sleeping Giant. And that is that there are very few places for those big, impactful cross-salvo, cross-shot salvos we look for uh, as a battleship. There's not many opportunities for that on this map. The middle of the map is so choked with islands that there are places you can get that shot, but at this level of play, most of the teams you're up against know those spots and know to avoid them. Yeah, well, we'll take a look at these initial deployments anyway, so I'm just going to quickly jump ahead and take the red team because I can. Marceau going to be diving at the air cap already, also going to be Marceau diving at the sea cap. The sea cap Marceau is going to be backed up by Gearing, Des Moines, Petro, and Ohio. The air cap Marceau is going to be backed up by Haragumo, Moskva, and Des Moines. Uh, there was some salvos out. I think the Montana took a chunk there. He did. Took about a 10, 10 12k chunk mm. right there. So how are you guys going to match against this unique deployment that Penta bring? Well, I think these guys have been paying attention to the videos that they've been looking at because, well, they're not. They're ignoring the B-cap the same way that Penta is. We're looking at a five-ship deployment to this to the uh, eastern half of the map here. Gearing, Des Moines, Ragnar, Montana, and Petro, an early Ragnar radar. Going to be trying to push helicopter off the cap, taking a notable chunk yeah, of his HP already. But Zill's got torpedoes coming in. He's going to take at least one of these right in the stern. We might also have a DD collision here. Marceau and Gearing trying to wiggle together. Um, Vile going to be positioning just in front of the Marceau, and they're going to both be sharing the same gap between these torpedoes. Yep. They need to not turn too hard, otherwise they're going to put themselves at further risk from these. I think they're okay. It should be okay. Over on the A cap, again, Shaft coming ready for this Marceau split that they've seen Penta execute. Able to push CEO of Dog off the A cap. He was unable to convert that cap before he was driven off. So this, just again, from the outside looking in, not having seen all of the games these teams have played on the EU server up to this point, this shaft opening almost looks to me to be kind of tailor-made to counter the Penta opening they were expecting. Sure, that's definitely a possibility. They have been running some... It's usually been Penta on the northern spawn when they've been running the strap, but it is pretty much just a mirror of what they've previously been running. So what we're going to see now is the Marceau, after taking that initial battering over the air cap, has realized, hey, there's nothing else here. I've only been eating that one Moscow radar and potentially get back in here and take this. Actually, no, he's turned out. He's decided he doesn't want to risk it. Blindfire came in from its Russian and his Moscow. He's like, where are you going to be capping from? Okay, that spot was nowhere near, but it was a good blindfire attempt anyway. Have you seen anything interesting going on? At the moment, uh, we've just kind of have a look at over here at A. We're seeing Harugamo and Des Moines. That's for Mazing and Flow 420 heading down the one line. Kind of, you see their their counterparts, Marcello and NALL, off to the south. So both teams opting for the same style of thing here. For Mazing getting lit, immediately going into the smoke, drawing a Mosfa salvo, but not really taking any real damage out of it. As CEO of Dogs Marceau back into A, probably going to be able to bag this. It's going to be the risky. Ra the Des Moines radar is up. They can see him. Shell's going down range. They are going to push him off the cap again. Yeah, that, that, he's, that radar has been up for quite a while now. It's only got like 20 seconds left on it. Is okay, so he had it up as he was moving yeah. into the smoke already. Yep. So, oh, some big hits on Dog there. Down to 8K now. Yeah, he's also opening up, so he's going to stay lit as well. He's trying to get some damage out on the Harugumo. I think, I think maybe he's trying to sucker the Harugumo into sitting still. Or slowing down long enough to eat one of these torpedoes, but it's not going to happen. The Moscow radar is ready now. He can, like, follow yep. up radar if and they there want There he goes. To. More torpedoes coming in. Flo's going to have to find some better cover to avoid all of that. 
He's gonna get the island. That's that's the important part. He's got a smoke screen there. It doesn't. It's gonna reach all the way. There's still another five seconds on it. Oh no, that's that's the end of the smoke screen. There might be a bit of an Ooh, issue. Flo's looking. Oh, he's going out. Oh, he's gonna go out right there. Haragumo DPM into the side of him. That's kind of painful. Yeah. Yep. Tried to get some island cover. Not quite able to do it. That Moskva radar still ticking away. Still has five seconds left to go, and he's already out. Yeah, more Des Moines salvos as well coming back at the smoke screen to try and force back Amazing, who, who appears to still be... There, he finally goes down. He's no longer yep. lit. Yep, he was not lit anymore. The Moskva radar expired. Now, they're rotating Dog back towards mid, where they've also... the uh, Where, um, excuse me, Shaft has also brought Zill in here to try to pick up some positive points, but Zill's radared right now. Angel Stones, Ohio, taking shots, not coming up with anything yet. Yeah, Petro Radar should go down very soon, and that should allow Zil to capitalize and take this cap, and that will be putting them... Well, they can take a two-cap advantage, um, but they will still be a ship down. Well, if they can take a two-cap advantage. they don't. Own, nobody owns anything yet. We're six minutes in, and nobody owns a cap on Sleeping Giant just yet. So, now, Vert's Kremlin has continued to push south. Okay, he's, he's, he's turning in towards the cap. Maybe they're going to try and cap this with Vert. I think that's their only option now. They already lost the Haragumo at this. He did get a shot off at the Des Moines. He did. He didn't really get anything out of it, though. In yeah. fact, he got no literally nothing out of it. Zero damage. Zero damage. So he's going to try... He's going to... From the taking the, the cap from that position above the island, he's going to be farmed by both Marso and Moscow, as well as the Des Moines Haragumo combination as well. That's not where you really want to be. And they're going to have to look for better position. I mean, the Harugamo can possibly get some shells in there. The Des Moines is going to struggle because there's a pretty good-sized chunk of rock right there. I think that's going to block a lot of it. Yeah, the the uh, Mosca and Marceau can definitely rain the down Mosca the Mosca and Marceau will absolutely be able to get him, though. No question. I think they're going to advance their, their northern Mosca a little bit. Actually, no, they forgot. This is the Ohio of Angelstone waiting there for the cross shots. That cross shot position you mentioned a few games ago, you know, waiting for the drop on, that, uh, on the Mosca over those small gaps in the islands is definitely a risk. Yeah. It's Russian was starting to move up, but now he's backing up again, and I think that's probably the right play. It looks like they've, they've, they've chosen Vert as their next uh, yeah. next target to farm because, well, they know he's more or less going to sit stationary there for a bit. Part of me wonders if maybe this is a bit of an overly panicky move on Shaft's part in the sense of they've got B. They've more or less got B for free. They're going to be able to cost some of these points back they lost from losing a ship, but along the way they've put Vert in a position where... They might lose him very quickly. Yeah, they're bringing Zill back through the Thunderdome now to try and contest A for him, so he doesn't have to put himself at too much more risk. But the By the time is, he gets there, he's going to be dead. Yeah, there's no way for him to retreat out of this. There's no smoke to no. get him out of here. He's on double fire. doesn't have a damage control ready for another 10 seconds. He's no, probably just going to go down. He's on, a, he's on a four on one. He's on a double fire. His heal's about to expire. His damage control might come back in time. No, it won't. He's going to burn out before his DCP comes back. There he goes. Two ship advantage now for PTA, and also this, the positional advantage that they're maintaining. Fair enough, they're down a cap and it's being ticked out on, but they're <laughs> I, completely I, surrounded. I was going to say, when you've got this kind of health advantage and a two ship advantage, I don't think you necessarily are super upset about being down on caps just yet, because once you have enough, when, with enough ships on the board, you're always confident you can get back into a game on capture, point, capture zones. Yeah, there was a gearing spotting incident that happened over at the sea cap. Yeah, both gearings did briefly run into each other. Either that or they both got raided by Petros or something. Um, so there's been a little bit of trading on these two gearings. And now it's just blind fire from Kinney Mod going for the resets on him. Yep, Repri's gearing trying to get in here and bag the sea cap. He's got torpedoes coming in from a stern, but yeah, one of them looks awkward. I think nah, nope, nope, they all ran out of steam anyway. So for all the for all the the pain over at A cap, and and let's be honest here, the the shaft the shaft play at A cap is basically done. They need, they need to try and extract Russian out of there as best they can, but look at all the shells in the air. Look at this Harugamo fire. Just, what does Zathlax say? Tasting the rainbow. Mm. Russian is tasting the rainbow of Harugamo shells right now. Only one color of shells, unfortunately. If you could if you could have multicolor traces on it, I'm sure he would definitely be tasting that. That's a triple fire currently burning. Mm -hmm. No damage control available for 26 seconds. No heal available for even longer, 60 seconds at the minute. I think all 53 fires just expired naturally there, but... There goes another Looks one like straight it, up. But there's another one because Harugamo, I mean, you fire enough shells and sooner or later it's going to happen. Now, he is dark at the moment, so the fire that's coming in is unguided. It's blind fire. 
Yeah, but there is a Des Moines and a Moskva and uh, the Haragumo all going to be wanting to push up. And once they get this Haragumo up a little bit further, they're then going to be able to have that drop of smoke screen for the Des Moines. Then the Des Moines can just rain it down on him. We have, the, with the Moskva radar being up right now, the uh, Anlai Tongues Moskva will tell them exactly when that radar ends, when it's safe for them to go drop that new smoke screen for the Haragumo Des Moines combination to begin that farming. Cassandos Montana making a move here, pushing directly down the seven line, getting in the face of Blood Legend. Realizing perhaps that the ships off to his port side are not a major threat to his survivability at the moment. No big battleships over there able to dev strike him. And it's funny, they bring a single battleship in this composition, and the, he hasn't really been. He really hasn't involved. been that impactful, has he? He, yeah. So you can see why that they feel that they don't need to bring two battleships. Oh, he finally gets the cross shot that he's been looking for for this entire game. That one. That oh, did, one he, did he finally get a good salvo on Russian? He's getting it now. Oh, he sure did. Look at that, about a 20k hit. Yeah, he's just been sitting there watching those he's dips waiting. for this entire yep. time. It's all about patience with that mid-battleship, right? You're just waiting patiently, looking for the moment that your shot can count the, for the most. All right, back Blood over, Legend yeah. looks like he's going to try and force the ram here. He's nothing that Gassando can do to stop it. No, getting kind of bonked here. A little bit of a wonk. And what we got now, we have one ship to two, two yep. cap advantage. Still a two, still a two ship lead here for Shaft as uh, for Penta. Uh, sorry for Penta. Shaft is uh, ticking up more cap points. In fact, they actually have a lead at the moment, but they are down a notable chunk of health and missing more ships. So honestly, with these caps ticking as long as they have been, I've kind of been underestimating how in this game they are. I mean, it's 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 eighty from a, points from a points perspective. They're absolutely in the game, but from a board position perspective. Things can things will tend to start start to fall apart very quickly once once you know once you can't keep up with your opponent on ships. Yeah, we have the Haragum and Des Moines smoke screen pushing up that one line now. They're gonna begin farming onto these two cruisers who are just like sitting on top of each other. They're both amazing and it's rushing in their Moscow Des Moines. And this is just gonna leave a Des Moines in the open. And Angel Stone is still there with those Ohio. He's gonna be looking for these shots. And Light Tongue is gonna be guarding the entrance, so there's Maybe. nowhere for this Des Moines to go. Angel's been Angel's been caught up dealing with stressed Petra Pavlovs, so we'll see. If he if his guns turn to look towards the Des Moines, oh, he's the, definitely looking at the Des Moines. <laughs> I've just looked at his. Yep, his base. stern turrets are absolutely turning towards the Des Moines. He gets one of them off. One of them looks like it's uh, it's incapacitated right now, but he does get those two shells in the water. I'm sorry, in the water, in the air. As, no, in the water. Uh, <laughs> Russian's gonna burn out. He misses though. Those battleship shells do miss. The farming is still going to continue. Oh my on god! Russian. Just the sheer volume of fire coming in on Russian is just painful to watch. Yeah, he's having fun. But it's about to it's about to be a three ship lead for Penta. Well, four if you get anything on this Des Moines yet. But hasn't nope. happened yet. See, this Des Moines is just stuck in the open now with a battleship bearing down upon his face because of the positioning of Anlai. If the Des Moines wants to do anything here to try and get himself to safety, he has to go run the guns of Anlai, who's just sat there waiting for AP. If he doesn't go anywhere, he has an Ohio barrel and down in his face, and he got the Des Moines Haragumo going to be pushing down on the rear of him. Zill and the Ragnar are going to, like, think about maybe trying to stop this, but it's a, it's yeah. a Haragumo Des Moines versus well, your Ragnar. Well, Amazing is about to start to taste the rainbow himself now because CEO of Dogs found a nice spot there to farm him from, from the south side. The Harugamo Des Moines wrapping around to the north side. They'll be able to get up here and start performing the exact same trick from the north his northern northern flank soon enough. It's back up to a 60-point quote-unquote lead, but it's, you know, it's, there's definitely enough time to get some more kills here. The six minutes yeah. left on the clock. Yeah, uh, there's 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 no need for, for Penta to get in a rush here. They, they own more ships. They're down on points, but they can easily take control of the board as soon as they can put pressure on the right things. Smoke screen's going to be running into each other with the Des Moines and Gearings. There might be some sort of thing happening over here on the 10 line. There's some torpedoes going back and forth as well. Nobody's quite eating any. Yeah, a little bit of radar going back and forth here. Kamikazes and Vile. They're kind of pushing Vile and Kinema down into the corner here. They don't mind that. That's literally their No, that's, that's literally why they're there. But if you can get rid of them, for starters, that's points. And it also opens up those ships now they can turn a little more towards mid. The problem is if they push towards mid, they're then pushing into the Ohio Marceau Marceau mm. who can just begin farming. The double Marceau look like they're both beyond split targets at the moment. It looks like they don't have any particular preference of what they want to go for. One's farming on the Petra Palace, one's farming on the Des Moines. To me, it's noteworthy that the team that brought two battleships doesn't have any battleships on the board anymore. <laughs> yeah. The team that only brought one is still has theirs functional and he's beating the bejesus up out of this Des Moines. Well, that's the thing. They, they realized, all right, we have two battleships. We need to make use of them. Uh, how do we use them? Okay, we'll push. And then they pushed into uh, 
form. And they got yeah, form. It's, it's only a matter of time before this all starts to fall apart on the 10th fleet. Kamikazes is going to go out here in just a second. And which is why this this single battleship strategy on this map is making more and more sense. Now it's like, where do you put your battleships that they're not just going to get farmed? We'll put one in the middle there. Is it worth having two in the middle there, holding their shots the entire game? No, we'll just not bring a second battleship. I mean, it might make sense now when I think about it like this, but it still, it still seems very unorthodox to me, though. The HE spam is real, ladies and gentlemen. They just can't... I mean, no heals can sustain this kind of insanity when you've got this much HE falling on you between... Fires in regular pens, just the sheer volume of shells alone. Four Amazing will be out here. We called it a few minutes ago, but he'll be off the board in too much longer, and then it'll be down to just the Petro and the gearing. Zil's Ragnar's still alive way up here. In fact, he, he looks like he and Marcello Pello had a bit of a tangle. Yeah, looks at like At some it. point, but Zil out of heels on 960 HP. Honestly, I think this might be GG getting cold here very shortly. I, I mean, it, it more or less is. You're there. They're going to make them earn it because, again, you've got the lead, but, I mean, they're going to—they're just going to pick these ships off one by one because they have all their firepower, and you just don't. Amazing is going to go around the corner, maybe try and get the ram. He goes for the AP on the turrets to try and knock them out, but it's not going to happen. It. There's no way. A couple hey, HE shells will end this. He might get the end caps, but... It looks like he did get the turret end caps there because... I, yeah, there we go. Yeah. I say... Unlike hadn't fired yet, but there he finally does get the get, get yeah. Unlike popped his damage control party right at the end there. And like, now nope. with a total of fifteen thousand HP between their three, excuse me, two, two surviving ships, it's all over with the crying here. I think at this point, what you need to do if you are shaft is you need to just press the magic button that detonates enemy ships, and you need to press it. Five times? That should bring oh, did, back in a way. Did they bring their tactical nukes? Is that a thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So since we're like in the wargaming offices, we do have access to the red button, so we could. Probably oh, press okay. That. All right. I see how it is. Well, that explains how you've been you've been engineering some of these uh, some of these victories you've been you've been rooting for. So that explains a lot. Yeah, bit. definitely. And gearing <laughs> opens up. Gonna be like, all right, end me. No, there we they go. They called the wipe. Everybody's sitting still, just getting spotted there, as uh, Penta looking solid in game one. Yeah. On honestly, it was just. Everything pushing in one by one to get farmed. The catch on to the Haragumo when they tried to make it make these island smoke, everything getting onto him, that was a good pick. Mm -hmm. um, and then following that, it was just chain of farming out ships, farming out the Kremlin, then you rotate onto farming out the Moskva, farming out the Des Moines, far just chain farming. Move up, move up a little bit, farm, move up a little bit, farm, move up a little bit, farm, and then it's just applying pressure from all angles. Well, you say move up a little bit, but it was more like fall back, farm, fall back, farm, because. Because you kept watching them push, push towards the cap circles, push towards the cap circles, and just give up ridiculous amounts of health to do that. Mm. So yeah. All right. Well, let's uh, throw it back to Bogsy and the boys, and we'll see what they have to say.